the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. No sweat, nice and easy, everything silky smooth, all so butterily, buttery smooth, so beautiful, just makes you happy. It's hard not to be happy. It's hard not to smile when you look at that. Just brings me enormous amount of pride and joy. Look what my kid can do. <laughs> so effortlessly. Just like that. <laughs> well, let me tell you about this chip. This chip is based on a new architecture we've been working on for several years. Several thousand people have been working on this project now for more than two years. This is the largest GPU endeavor, the largest chip project endeavor, the largest processor endeavor in the history of humanity. The R&D budget was several billion dollars. <laughs> several billion dollars. I am pretty sure you can go to Mars. I'm pretty sure you can go to Mars. Several billion dollars. The, Pascal packs just so much punch for several reasons. The engineers have just done an amazing job. First of all, the architecture is the most efficient architecture we've ever created. It's the most advanced architecture we've ever created. And I'm going to show you some amazing new technology that you've never seen before. It's the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU in production. World's first. It is also the world's first to use Micron's new G5X memory. This memory is so fast. It is so fast. Well, what you're looking at, that smear in the middle, that smear in the middle, basically are the bits flowing in and out of our chip and to the G5X memory. Each one of those signals, each one of those signals are only 100 picoseconds wide, 100 picoseconds. That's 100 picoseconds is how long it takes light to travel one inch. how long it takes light to travel one inch. In that little bit of time, our engineers have to make sure that data is transferred. Pretty much when you look at this thing on, a, on an oscilloscope, it's pretty much just noise. The fact that you could actually extract information out of this is just unbelievable. G5X, the fastest DDR memory, GDDR memory in the world, the first built by Micron. And the third part, the fourth part, is craftsmanship. Thousands of engineers, thousands of engineers have come up with thousands of ideas over the last several years. And each one of them optimizes on what we already built in the past. Some of them working on break, groundbreaking new technologies. Maxwell, as you know, was already the most energy efficient GPU that's ever been made. And energy efficiency in modern computing is exactly the same as performance. If you're energy efficient, you are also high performance. So energy efficiency is a enormous importance. And so we dedicate ourselves to thousands of small ideas, thousands of small ideas. And the reason for that is because, as you know, Moore's Law is running out of steam. So you can't just take a design and go to the next node, and all of a sudden, you have more performance. We have to do this now through enormous amount of dedication, enormous amount of craftsmanship, thousands and thousands of small ideas, and hundreds of big ones, and a few groundbreaking ones. Well, the craftsmanship of this project of Pascal has been like never before. And then lastly, I want to talk to you about brand new technology. But let me show you a few things first. Craftsmanship. I can't show you the thousands of ideas that we worked on, but I selected a couple. And this is how we designed the system around the Pascal GPU. This is the system around the Pascal GPU. Don't forget, when you pull energy out of your wall, it's 120 volts. It's 1,000 watts maximum. However, we take that AC power, we reduce it down to DC, and it's now one volt and nearly 300 amps. And that one volt and 300 amps is being delivered 
at multi gigahertz. And so the switching power supply design is incredibly hard to do. This is probably one of the most complicated, most artful, most advanced switching power, switching power supply that humanity does today. Well, your goal is this. With the billions of transistors that are switching at a few nanoseconds apiece, our goal is to de deliver essentially a DC power. That DC power can never change. Depending, independent of whether it's Tomb Raider running, or Excel running, or division running, a big explosion, minesweeper. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're running, it has to deliver that clean power. And whenever we, do, we don't deliver clean power, you lose performance, you lose energy efficiency, you lose everything you fought so hard to do. So the delivery of clean power is incredibly important. The white line is the last best in the world. The white line. And basically, that envelope was Maxwell. GTX 980, the world's best GPU. The world's best GPU is the best GPU we've ever built. And that variance is what we were able to achieve with GTX 980. Notice GTX 1080, the variance has reduced dramatically. It's almost essentially a solid line. Out of one, out of one volt, which is all we have to work with, 100 millivolt ripple is all we see. The second, we want to deliver that efficiency, that level of power, that level of current across the entire operating range of our GPU. Don't forget these things are running incredibly fast and it's asked to burst into a level of performance almost instantaneously because as soon as you turn around, maybe, maybe you were looking at a nice, quiet, gentle brook and you turn around and there are 10 monsters coming your way and you got to fire back immediately. Well, the amount of graphics processing that changed all of a sudden is instantaneous and enormous. Well, we have to deliver clean power and efficiently as long as we can all, all throughout that entire, entire experience. And so notice in the case of GTX 980, our efficiency it was excellent. However, the 1080 took it just another level. Well, what do you get from all of that? Amazing new architecture, 16 nanometer, the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU, the world's first G5X, incredible engineering worksmanship. Well, what you get from that is this. The 1080 is faster than a 980 SLI. <laughs> 1080 is faster than 980 SLI. But a 1080 is way faster than the fastest in the world today. The 1080 is even faster than a Titan X. And you gotta ask yourself, right? How much faster? How much faster? Unbelievable amounts. It is utterly insane. It is insane. The 1080 is insane. It's insane. It's almost irresponsible amounts of performance. When all of it came together, when all of it came together, let's face it, we designed it to do that. We wanted it to do that. We invested billions of dollars so that it could do that. But you still know when the kid graduates and it does something amazing, it still brings you enormous amount of joy. Just so happy. I'm just so happy. Look at that. GTX 1080. It's faster than a Titan X. Not by a little bit, but a whole lot. And with so much less power. Well, basically what this says, not only is 1080 the new king, the Pascal family is going to be pretty amazing. So the question is, what are you going to do with all this? Well, the first thing you're going to do with all this is you're going to enjoy every single game on the planet in its full maximum tricked out configuration. And you're going to enjoy it nice and silky smooth. And you're going to smile all the time. You're going to have a dumb grin on your face like mine all the time. Where's your dumb grin? <laughs>
All the time. All the time. But what else can you do? What else can you do? Well, we have a, real, we have a special treat. I, I just, I love this man. We've been together, we've been working together now in our industry for a quarter of a century. Few, few have made a greater contribution to the advancement of the technology and the art of video games than this man. You guys designed the characters of Paragon. Yeah, that's right. You know, Paragon is the new MOBA from Epic Games uh, that combines the classical elements of MOBA gameplay mm -hmm. with very high quality graphics. And as we go about designing new characters, we create these visual prototypes uh, to ask, what is the absolute best visual fidelity we uh, should strive for as a team? Mm -hmm. We do a lot of these experiments. They're often running at one or two or five frames per second. Um, and we ask ourselves, you know, what is possible? And then we strive to achieve that in real time. And this is what this is? This is a character study of something you can do in one or two or five frames per second? And so what are some of the special effects that we're looking at? I mean, how did you guys, this looks amazingly beautiful. What makes it beautiful? Well, we're seeing, seeing a very realistic material model, um, a physically based material model that simulates the microscopic interactions between light um, and the properties of a material. Mm -hmm. So you get really nuanced appearances to the metal on the character's uh, armor um, and the light transfer through his skin, um, the shading on the hair, uh, and all of these other uh, physically based effects, which we now generate not by just sitting down and winging it, but we actually study real objects in the real world, uh, hair of real people, um, skin. We go out with photogrammatic um, you know, utensils, you know, little light meters um, and all sorts mm -hmm. of other devices mm -hmm. and actually measure the real world. Mm -hmm. And then we iteratively improve what we have in the engine until we've actually matched it and mm -hmm. achieved it. So physically based materials we're looking at, the skin shader, um, obviously, our skin has, uh, has, has permeability, so there's this, there's this notion called subsurface scattering. Light comes in, picks up on some of the, the tint of your, of your blood and your flesh, and then it scatters in all kinds of directions, and it gives you that lively look instead of a chalky, chalky cartoony look of, a, of skin. Uh, the, the, the cloth is materially, physically based and, and uh, looks like cloth, and, and the thing that's really, really cool is it's just the, the shiny material looks, looks uh, so real. It just looks so incredibly real. And so this is something that, that today, of course, uh, we can't enjoy uh, in real time. However, however it, sure would be, it sure would be amazing if we can enjoy this someday in real time. Yeah, perhaps someday you can create some GPU technology that will make it possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, guys, I, that, that is, that's a challenge. I think that's a challenge. That's a challenge. And, you know, Tim, Tim, I would like to just tell you that someday has arrived. <laughs> Can we take a look at this, please? Guys, 
What do you think? Yeah. Now, I hope you guys realize, I hope you guys realize everything was running in real time. That was not a movie. That was computer graphics generated in real time, courtesy of the amazing team that Tim leads at Epic. This is the future of graphics available today. Available today. That's, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, team. Good job, Tim. So amazing, so amazing. Hey, guys, you know, just, just for kicks, just for kicks, let's take a look at some of the clocks. Can we? You guys want to take a look at the clocks? It's up there. Can you guys see it? I know, it's, 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 it's insane. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The GPU is running air-cooled, air-cooled. The GPU is running at 2.1 gigahertz. That is the fastest clocks of a GPU that has ever been achieved. Water cooled or air cooled, air cooled or water cooled. I think the only, the only faster is a Maxwell GPU immersed in liquid nitrogen. And only barely, and only barely. Because of the amazing craftsmanship, because of the engineering that has been done on this product, its overclockability is just incredible. And look at that, it's running at just a nice, cool as a cucumber, 65 degrees C. 67 degrees C. <laughs> you guys added two degrees to the room. You guys, all of you added two degrees to the room. Incredible. The X1080 is twice the perf and three times the energy efficiency versus a Titan X. Damn. Twice the performance of a Titan X, three times the energy efficiency, and crazy amounts of overclockability. Just crazy. That is the GTX 1080. We're so proud of it. I'm so proud of all the engineers that have made it possible. We made a small video for you. Let's run it. Ladies and gentlemen, the new king, GTX 1080. Unbelievable. Twice the performance of Titan X, three times the energy efficiency. Need the clicker. <laughs> Everything's going so smoothly tonight, everybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. Twice the performance of a Titan X, our $1,000 flagship product today. 1080 is twice the performance and three times the energy efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, the GTX 1080. <laughs> Nine teraflops, eight gigabytes of G5X, the world's first G5X memory from Micron, $599 MSRP. The NVIDIA Design Founders Edition, $699, gives you crazy overclockability, amazingly beautiful design, I hope you love it. Twice the performance of Titan X 
and three times the energy efficiency, general availability around the world, May 27th. But I have more. Yes. What? Yes. What? 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 GTX 1070. 6.5 teraflops, 8 gigabytes of G5 memory, faster than a Titan X, faster than a Titan X, $379 MSRP. And for the NVIDIA designed Founders Edition, 449 available all over the world June 10th. The best, best GPU architecture we have ever created, the best GPUs we have ever designed,